Bayern already this season. Four ranking titles, including just two days ago, the German Masters in Berlin. Thank you. He starts as a big favourite tonight First against the world number 44 from China, Li Hang. Li Hang. On the one-year list, Li Hang 32nd, so he's just uh, crept in in the last place. Trump, of course, number one seed. And as we heard from the interview, he just wants to continue in this vein. There's no let-up at all, if anything, quite the opposite. He got used to winning and he wants to continue. I was interested to hear Stephen in the interview. When I spoke to him earlier. He said even yesterday he went and had a practice just to keep himself you know, sharp. Yeah, greed is a very important attribute to have as, as a, a top, I think, a top sportsman. I just mind snooker. And he is greedy for success. can't pot them all but he'll be looking I'm sure for a quick kill this evening if there is any slight fatigue there he doesn't want to get embroiled in long matches certainly early on in the tournament <laughs> yeah, I think it's a similar situation to Neil Robertson this afternoon if there is any Vulnerability. It's going to be in the first round or two for Judd Trump and Neil Robertson. I think if they get towards the, the end of the week, it'll be normal service resumed. That was a nice opening pot for Lee Hank. This yellow is a big shot to take on. A few balls coming down towards the reds. He hasn't pulled up that many trees this season, but he's only lost once in the first round in 10 ranking events, and that means he's got Great. prize money from the other nine, which has obviously helped him get into this tournament. Did reach the quarterfinals of the first tournament of the season, Four. Riga. is going to win this match. He obviously needs a very good start to try and put some sort of pressure 11. on his opponent. And this is a decent start so far. Twelve. Looks pretty straight in the black, so i just be playing for the red below the black and then his thoughts will start to turn towards opening the reds up it's an angle in the black from this red Nineteen. The, sh the shape of the pack I'd almost be tempted to leave a low black and actually play it with topspin just because there's a little joint of the reds he could get the cue ball into. But he's. 20. Playing the other way, he's going to try and stun into the left hand side of the bunch. Oh. Played it perfectly. Great shot. You stun that shot, you don't play it with screw because the cue ball can come back towards the right corner pocket. Played that to perfection. Yeah, Trump's great run, it started in the Northern Ireland Open last season and in that tournament, Lee Hang here beat Neil Robertson 4-0. He also made his highest ever break, 1-4-5. he can punish here. Trump went for that long red, didn't get it. If Lee Hang can win the frame from that, then it does... Just remind Trump there's a match on. Come here, obviously, full of confidence. Can't wait to play. But Lee Hang, his, Lee Hang has his part to play as well in this match. He has beaten Trump once before. They've only played twice, and it was seven years ago. Just 
going around to look at the bunch of reds there. There's a red, the three reds directly below the pink. The left-hand side one will pop to the left corner, so he just needs to drop on the little gap. He's played for the low one. Now this shot now, position is not guaranteed. 33. You can see the shake of the head. He's travelled about six inches too far there. He's looking at the gap that the cue ball is going to go through. He'll be hoping for a cannon just to maybe promote the pink towards the left middle pocket. But this could go wrong. Well, in fact, he's promoted it for the right middle. That's turned out perfectly. Problem resolved very nicely. Forty. Forty-one. Pretty economical technique. It's not got the sort of long, extravagant cue actions that a lot of the top players have, bringing the Q-tip back to the thumb of the bridge hand. It's, it's quite a short, stabby cue action. Cannon the four reds to the right, the pink here. Very impressive start. It's very composed. Yes, I mean, let's be honest, there's been very little discussion of him coming into the match. It's all been about Trump, understandably. Very good poker player as well. I've played cards with him and lost money to him. Something tells me you won't have enjoyed that. cue ball with authority in this break ever since that first red the straight red 54. left corner screwing back for the yellow it's been a very confident start 55 Judd Trump as the overwhelming favourite would would be wanting to stamp his authority on this match as soon as possible but that's not happening No, he's had that one attempt at the red, that's it. As Lee Hang closes in on winning this opening frame. 62. This is how he's going to have to play, you feel, tonight. All through the match. But what a terrific start. 63. The black and Trump needs a snooker. Seventy. Seventy-one. Well, he looks so relaxed and composed. In this opening frame. 27. Seventy-eight. And Connor played a better frame to start a match than this, particularly considering who he's playing. <coughs> well we'll see, I'm sure, as the night goes on. Eighty four Trump does bring his great form from the rest of the season to this match, but he's only had one shot here, so the fact that he took the red on a miss, that was that.
92. Oh, that's just brilliant. <laughs> Brings the red off the cushion. Remember, it's the other guy who's the world champion. I was just going to say that. If this was Judd Trump doing this, we'd be saying, oh, this is what we expect, the best player in the world. But it's not. It's Lee Hang. An immaculate start. Ninety-eight. Well, what a start for Li Hang. So, this for the century. He's here to play his own match, his own game, regardless of who he's playing and what he's been doing of late. And if Li Hang can produce this sort of snooker throughout the night. Could very well be him going through. Got to keep it up, but this is terrific stuff. One hundred and four. One hundred and seven. You can see why. He's a good poker player. The expression on his face has not changed this whole break. It's been cold and collected, focused. 111. It's almost like he expected to start like this. Well, it makes it very interesting because we know Trump's playing well. We weren't sure how Lee Hang would come out and perform, but we've seen it in this frame. But he's feeling good himself, so this promises to be a terrific match. Trump knows he's got to produce it this evening. Flawless break this. What a way to start. 100. Just a fantastic break. observed from the way Lee Hang was playing there was that he's very relaxed this evening and hasn't gone into his shell on the main table, far from it. Could have gone wrong that shot, but it hasn't. Could have left the red that's below the black to the left corner. We may still have left it. This is tough, queuing down on the cue ball. Oh, that's a great shot. Great shot. One. And you're putting it into a blind pocket, and the cue ball's very near the cushion. That's a sign of confidence there. The ball. Six. 
think what was impressive in Germany was wasn't just the attacking game we saw from Trump, the potting and break building, his tactical game, particularly in the final against Neil Robertson, was excellent. Showed great patience to wait for chances, trying to earn chances. Seven. And there were a couple of times in the tournament where Luca Bussell was behind and recovered. Graham Dot won a couple of black ball frames in the semi final. Trump just shrugged it off and focused on what he was doing, got the, the match won. So, in all areas at the moment, he's uh, very strong, but of course, he wants to continue in that vein. He had the slip up at the UK, the one at the Masters as well. 12. Already here, this has just gone slightly wrong, getting the rest out. Thirteen. Can't win everything, but he's won seven of the last 20 ranked tournaments he's played in. That's a very impressive rate because he's also been deep in quite a few others as well. Nineteen. Already this season, he's earned six hundred twenty-seven thousand pounds. Twenty. Pretty much perfect angle in the blue, so screw into the pink. Try and hit the pink full ball. Split the reds everywhere. Play to perfection. Now is he on a red? He's got one to the right middle. Probably play for the pink. Just try and leave the cue ball in the black cushion. It depends if that if that pink's tight in the cushion, then he won't really want to play for it. But if it's just off, then that's the shot he'll play. Twenty-six. And you see the pink just slightly off the cushion, so that gives him a bit of leeway to get the cue ball out of there. He's overhit this by a long way. He'll be disgusted with that shot. 32. You don't know, he's playing for the red. It's closest to the black, to the right corner. That's end of break. Oh, he's looking at this, cutting this red to the left corner. But the problem with this shot, if you go for it and miss it, you're liable to leave the red over the pocket. Well, he has left the red over the pocket, but very fortunate. Very fortunate. That was a world number one's run of the ball there. I know, as if he needs any luck at the moment. But it's certainly a help. This is the shot again. It was, as you said, a little bit do or die. But the fact is, the white's gone in behind the green.
well, it's made a big difference in this frame. You know, he leaves that red on. Could have been 2-0, for all we know. As it is, he gets an immediate chance to continue. Already 32-0 in front. One. There'll be players watching this thinking, why don't I get luck like that? Nine. That was one of the, the best lines ever Willie Thorne once said to Steve Davis when Steve Davis was winning everything. He says, why do you get so much luck, Steve? And Steve says, well, I play more matches, Willie. Sixteen. Well, of course, Davis 17. was in that mould as you were just wanting to win absolutely everything and being able to put to bed a victory and getting on with the next tournament, which is what Trump has learned to do. I think the winning the World Championship was interesting which way it would go. Would he sort of celebrate maybe too much or would he just say, OK, it's not to the end, it's the start. And this is a lovely little shot to uh, set up one each, you suspect. Yeah, it was an example of his effortless cue power. The first contact on the reds, you think, well, that's a cue ball's going to stay there, but it's still got action on it. And it moves, still moves to the left to open up the reds. I'm sure Trump has looked at the game and thought, OK, a lot of the best players, apart from myself, are a lot older than me. They're in the 40s. They're not going to be there forever. It's a real chance the next few years to keep Coach winning titles and really build a legacy in this sport. His rate of scoring is really good. 67 centuries this season, far more than anyone else. He's only 17 away from getting to 700 at the age of just 30. Forty. Forty-six. Neil Robertson famously made a hundred centuries in one season. John Trump thirty-three. Short of that. Still tournaments to go. And if he keeps getting to the business end of the tournaments, he's, he's going to get close, you would have to say. Yeah, Robertson made his 100th against Trump at the Crucible, but I guess because he made 103, I guess Trump would like to make 104 <laughs> rather than just be the second to get to 100. He wants to set a new record. He can just about make one here, but he needs big colours with the reds. Fifty-three. Cue ball doing a bit of mileage here to get on the next red. That's quite subdued for Judd Trump. Just a little dab of run inside. Fifty-eight. He's going to need 59. One black with his final red. If he's going to make the century. 50. Absolutely perfect. If he picked a cue ball up with his hand, he couldn't put it in a better place. 65. Well, the red stays out.
Mark Allen, by the way, on table two has won the first frame against Liang Wenbo, but Liang in in frame two, and he's, uh, of course, donating his prize money from this event to charities uh, set up to help the victims of the coronavirus back in China. So he'll have plenty of support. Ding Junhui has also made a quite a substantial donation. Yeah, Liang Wenbo has won that uh, second frame, so one each with Mark Allen. Judd Trump, of course, the number one seed with over half a million prize money this season. In fact, ten times as much as Lee Hang, who came in in 32nd. And there is a, another bonus for these three Coral Series events, 100,000 for whoever wins the Coral Cup, who does the best in the three. Brilliant shot. One. Those played at pace. Top spin off two cushions for the black. Well, not easy at all. The black's no gimme. And it looks to me it's going to go in the pink spot, so the black will be out of commission if he pots it here. Yeah, it wasn't easy, that. It was easier yeah, than the one. red. First sign of frailty from Lee Hang. One.
7. Eight. Not sure if the black will go in its own spot. He pots it. He must do because I think he would have been reluctant to pot it if it was going to be tied up. Fifteen. And it clearly goes and maybe even pot to the left corner. Sixteen. Cue ball not travelling any distance at all. Just a series of little stuns and cannons. Twenty-two. So after that magnificent start from Lee Hang, total clearance frame one, he's probably one ball. He's maybe a little unlucky in frame two, but in this frame, been a couple okay. of errors on his side. Oh, that, and he just wriggled in. Yeah, he only, he only had half a pocket to aim at there. And he, he probably would have stopped breathing just for a couple of seconds until it actually dropped. You can see it here, just passes the pink, had to play in to the right half of the pocket as he looked at it. Now, to be plain sailing to this third frame. Yeah, I mean, in a funny sort of way, the way Lee Hang started might have done him a favour. Maybe he just focused the mind. 42. Coming into another tournament, playing someone who's started so well. Trump would not know that he would have to really focus hard himself. And that's what he's done in this break. It's noticeable what a good deciding frame Neil Robertson played earlier against Michael Holt, who played well himself to take it to 3 3. But Robertson 49. just stepped it up in the last frame. Okay. Neil Robertson, who on Sunday before the final in Germany had a, a good luck tweet from Russell Crowe, no less. Fellow countryman, not known as a snooker fan. Fifty-six. So he's going to need one more red.
64. Very cool break this. And having just missed out on the century in the previous frame, I'm sure he'd like to make yet another one in this one. Seventy. Yeah, Lee Hang. Had the first opportunity, 21. missed the black, that little tricky black to the right corner, and I'm afraid this is a tough school. You can't afford to miss anything when you're in this company. 76. 77. Eighty five, ninety two. This is lovely stuff. So the black for Trump's first century of this. World Grand Prix. <laughs> Number 68 of the 100. season. Well, the yellow refuses to go in, so the break ends at 100 exactly. <laughs> fully punished. Lee Han for his mate. to win and Judd was to win there's a bit of needle between those two so either combination would be interesting but obviously Judd's still got to take care of this match tonight it's a very good shot ok he hasn't found the bolt pushing but Queuing from right in the jaws of the pocket. That was an excellent safety shot. Yeah, you can just tell with Judd even backstage, you know, when we interviewed him, he's just enjoying being Snooker's top dog. He's relishing it. He's not feeling the pressure of expectation. He enjoys turning up at these tournaments, everyone congratulating him on his latest win. It's a little bit wild, that shot. <laughs> Trump spotted something on the red, asking Alex Grisan, the referee, to clean it. I guess the big question looming for Trump, and he's aware of it, is two words, crucible curse. No first-time champions ever defended the world title, the crucible... Will he be the first or will he succumb like all the others? 
course, he'll, he's the only person who knows when he'll be playing in the World Championship, day one, as is tradition. Well, they had to wait a long time to play that shot. Asking for the cue ball to be clean, maybe that interrupted his rhythm. Mm. After such a good start. Weakening slightly now, Lee Hank. Well, it's amazing, really, because he was flawless that first frame, never missed a ball, but since then he's only potted one more. One. And if you hadn't seen the first frame, you'd think this guy's just really struggling. But the fact is, he, he was flawless in that opener. These can be tricky, and the reds right over 15. the pocket to control the cue ball for position. Play for the pink to the left middle. That's obviously one solution, just deep screw it straight back up the table. 17. That's the kind of shot his opponent probably couldn't play. Put the ball. Just got incredible cue power, Judd Trump. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Would have liked to have been straighter on the black. Seen a slight grimace there. It's too much angle in the black. You'd have to play. Possibly some sort of cannon. That's why he's taking the green on. Ball. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. 
Just gone past straight in the black, so enough angle. No problem, just forcing the cue ball. Stun run through. It's not ideal. 41. He's going to be cannon and other reds after potting this, so it can go wrong. But judged it to perfection. 42. Forty-nine. Cue ball control. Up to about maybe two, three years ago was a fifty. It wasn't one of his best attributes, Judd Trump. He lost position quite a lot when he was in on a break, but it's so much better now. I have to be honest, I don't think it's quite. On Ronnie O'Sullivan's level, it's very 37. close. I still think Ronnie's cue ball control is the best in the world, but Judd Trump is getting very, very close. Fifty-eight. Ronnie Sullivan, even Ronnie Sullivan, cannot play shots like that. That was just unbelievable. 54. Perfect on the red as well. Amazing. Well, to not have right hand side on the cue ball when it hits 55. the bolt cushion, to middle the cue ball and play, it's just. Can't tell you how difficult that shot is. Well, what it all means is that this black and its snooker is required once again. Seventy two. Well, again, delightful little touch to free the four reds chance for. Back-to-back -back centuries. Yeah, going back to what I was saying about his cue ball control two or three years ago, he would have hit that cannon a lot harder. But it's there's a lot more finesse to his play now. Eighty-eight. It's just been a masterclass. This. Yeah, I think he's worked very hard to be the complete player now. And eighty-nine. The results have spoken for themselves. It's a sign of his confidence as well. The way his opponent started with that first frame century. He didn't hit any panic 96. buttons. It's a sign of how confident he is in his game. He knew that when he got in, He's going to do the damage. And that's what he's done again in this frame. So back to back turns from Judge Trump. What a display this has been. 104. Eleven. One hundred and thirteen. What's he going to do? 
one of these colors. Normally, at least one of these shots that will be a bit special. Well, I guess he may be thinking about the high here. break, which at the moment's only 131. He could set a, a new target at 138. It's 10,000 up for grabs. So maybe that's why he's been a little bit more sensible, maybe, clearing these. It's been magnificent once again. <laughs> Terrific stuff. Really good stuff. On the other table, Liang Wenbo is 3-1 up against Mark Allen. So it's been a bit of a mixed start to the tournament for China, of course, last night. Xiao Qudong beat Mark Selby. This afternoon, Ding Junhui was defeated by Scott Donaldson for the third time in three weeks. But Liang going well next door against Mark Allen. Of course, Lee Hang up against it here against Trump. What a shot. Well, it could have been a lot worse, actually, but uh, it kind of sums up the last half an hour or so for him. Has he got away with it? Incredible, really. That average frame time, 13 minutes. Well, he could have left something a lot easier. Some, that white looked like it was going to just be amongst all the reds at one point. Oh. 
even with all Judd Trump's Q power, he couldn't get the cue ball back up the table for an easy colour. This pink is tricky, but it could be pink. the beginning of the end, should he get it. Easy game. Well, that's it, he is getting them at the moment. He's just so full of confidence, he's always had the talent. Now he's got all the belief Kevin. in the world. It's a pretty deadly combination. What you also have, of course, is all the hard work he's done that we haven't seen to get to this position. I know one thing, asking his brother Jack hey. to give up his greenkeeping job to come with him full-time on the circuit was an inspired move because he certainly helped keep Judd calm and relaxed between matches during tournaments. He's company on the road, he's played snooker himself, he understands the game. Judd on Sunday in Berlin said that he owed a lot to him. Perfect. Points without reply stacking up. I don't think anyone would be surprised if he now wins the match with another century. 16. No, I wouldn't bet against it. But I'll repeat again. Lee Hang started this match in the first frame with 129 23. total clearance. And since then, has scored one point. Must have felt good going into the second frame. Well, he looked great, didn't he? He looked so relaxed coming out, not interested in Judd Trump or anything else, just playing the game. But, yeah, since 24. then, there's not been huge amounts of errors, but a little bit of luck from Trump in the second frame when he flew the snooker. And then, since then, he's just been relentless, pouncing on any sort of chance he's getting. 31. He likes to enjoy himself, Trump, 32. he likes a holiday, but he'll do all that when the season's over. There's big tournaments to be won before then, not least the biggest of them all in April, May. Thirty-nine. Forty. Forty-five. Forty-six. Fifty-two. Well, that man looks like he's come straight from school to be here. Didn't want to miss anything. This has been a bit of a snooker lesson, hasn't it? From Judd Trump. It has been. It's been a clinic. Fifty-three. He'll want to finish in style. He'll want to finish with that third century. to produce a good pot here to Thank keep you. that third century alive. Just two or three pots away from securing the match. Just buckets these pockets for Judd Trump. Black and one more red needed. There's the pot success for the evening. So 
every chance still to win with three okay. centuries in a row. Main thing is pot this, and it's snookers required. 69. This match, just an hour it's taken, plus whatever's left. No thoughts from Trump that, well, I've won last week, so I'll take this week easy. Not a bit of it. He wants to maintain that intensity, that focus so that he's shown for the last 15 months, in which he's won seven ranking titles, plus the Masters, become world number one. Become the game's new dominant force. The balls are just obeying his command, aren't they? 82 83 89 90 May choose to play for the one in the black cushion here. He's had a couple of looks at the one in open play. And you seven. Well, what a shame. It doesn't end with the third century. A mere 97, but it follows the 100 and the 138. Lee Han started so well with that total clearance in frame one, but Judd Trump really upped his game after that. Another very impressive performance by the defending and the world champion, Judd Trump, into the last 16 of the World Grand Prix, beating Lee Hang 4 1.